Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to season nine, episode number two of Subscriber Showcase. We are traveling all across the world today in the episode. We are going from USA to India and back really cool home theaters in today's episode thank you to the three gentlemen who did send these submissions out for the video today and of course you guys know before we get started we have to go get a snack head to the kitchen grab yourself a mug make yourself some hot chocolate not with hot water use milk yeah. pour it in drop in some marshmallows and we'll see you at the end of the episode we're kicking off season nine episode two with jeremy and he's remodeled his entire basement to make it into a home theater and he has a 7.2.4 system says he's really into custom building a lot of things including his entertainment rack and the wall panels the acoustic panels that you're going to see so what he has in here is a panamax mr4000 power conditioner his Denon 4700 runs the side surround, back rears, and back rear at most. That's his AV receiver. He has an Outlaw Audio 5000X, 120 watts time 5. That's running the left, center, right, and top front at most. He has a 4K Apple TV 3rd Gen, a Panasonic UB820 4K Blu-ray player. His TV is the Sony 85-inch 85x85K 4K TV. His center channel is the Klipsch 504C. The Klipsch 280F is his left and right channels. He has two 12 inch Rail HT 1205 sub, both 500 watts, and the RO 500 SA2 side surrounds. He has Klipsch 160M rear surrounds and four in-ceiling Klipsch 8 inch 5800 C2 speakers with directional tweeters. His turntable is the Audio Technica turntable, as well as Govi Dream View T1 back side of TV. That's his LED lights behind this TV. He has Hugh Phillips four bulbs in ceiling and one Echo Dot to control the room. He does have a small Insignia mini fridge in there and Lazy Boy recliners with cup holders. Super sweet build, love the ingenuity in there, but it sounds just as good. Thanks, Jeremy. Oh man, what it do, KPG? Hey, I appreciate your help on the Atmos placement on the last video. Finally got them all mounted up, moved some furniture around down there. Everything's a little bit more equilateral, so to speak. Um, yeah, let's go check it out. A little humble home theater space, uh, not in a dedicated room. It's shared with a little reading nook from my wife, so a lot of people will probably be able to relate to this one if I had to guess. All right, we're downstairs now, and here it is. This is the little reading area for the wife. And that is the 7.1.4 home theater space. We'll jump into, you know, what that's comprised of here in a second, but there she blows. Alrighty. So up front, in terms of electronics that are not speakers, for the display, we've got a LG C3 OLED 77 inch for the receiver. It's a Denon AVR 6700H, which is their, it's a 13.2 channel receiver. Um, it's got 11 amped channels and then outputs for uh, either front wides or an additional set of Atmos speakers that you can hook up to a, a separate two channel amplifier um, if you desire that. Um, and then on top of that, because these things do run a little warm as an AC Infinity Aircom, um, I'm sure they're probably designed to withstand the heat that they themselves put out, but heat's the enemy of all electronics, so if you have the ability to keep it cool, then why not? Um, surge protection is a Panamax MR4300. Uh, my UHD player is a, currently it's an LG UP875. I've had that for a while. I've noticed some freezing on it, so I'm going to be replacing that pretty soon with a Panasonic UB820. Um, and then whenever I do get to game, of course, I got the Series X. Um, and yeah, what's cool about the Series X is there's a Dolby app too. It's got all their uh, Atmos demos and stuff on there. It's kind of neat. Um, that's pretty good for demoing your system for people. And before we go any further, I know I need to black that window out. 
So y'all better not flame me in the comments, but you still can if you want to, because it's a free country. Alrighty, let's get into them speakers. The left and the right, we got the Klipsch RP280F. In the center is the Klipsch RP450C. For the subwoofer, it's the Klipsch RP1600SW. And up top for the front Atmos channels are the DevTech AW6500. And these have a tweeter and a 6.5 in each one of them. And on the back side of them, they actually have a passive radiator that's about the size of a 6x9. Moving on to the sides is the Fluence HFBP Bipoles. Had these for a while, and they're okay. I'm going to replace these with some RP150Ms or RP600Ms, depending on what goes on sale and whether or not I feel like spending the extra money on the 600s. The rears are Canton, Canton. Don't really know how you say it, but the good news is I don't really care. Pretty solid bookshelf speakers. I like these things, um, but they just don't match everything else. So these are going to get replaced too. Um, and then the same DevTech speakers in the rear, um, the AW6500s. And that's pretty much it. And there's my doggy. All right, I know it's a little sparse down here with the decorations right now. We're going to fix that. These windows are going to get blacked out. We're going to have some posters up. There's going to be some other stuff. Probably going to do some ambient LED lights somewhere. Oh, I haven't figured that out yet. But there's going to be some kind of ambient light down here. Um, but yeah, this rug right here. So I actually work for Regal Cinemas. This came out of our old headquarters when we moved um, from there into our new headquarters. It got left behind. It's got the old branding on it. Uh, the logo's different now and all that. So this is kind of a cool little thing. Um, this is a dog. We got her a while back. She's pretty good. She just kind of posts up and, oh, look at that belly. And then that's a walking table with the home theater ones on feet down there. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is the spot. A little shared space for reading for the lady and home theater for the husband. Yeah. I feel like this is something that people can relate to. It's not a dedicated room with tiers of seats and a $12,000 projector and a 58.19 channel home theater system. Kyle's a great guy. Yes. I, yep. KPG's the man. Yes. I know. I like his channel too. What are you upset about? Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And Kyle, I just want to say this is, I'd say this probably comes from all the viewers, but um, I really appreciate you giving a platform to all the people that really love home theater, um, but are just the average Joes that can't afford to have all these just insane, extravagant home theaters with these expensive projectors and outrageous amounts of subwoofers and just a, a equipment that the average Joe just can't have, you know? Um, and it's really cool to have a platform like that and uh, have a, a YouTuber that listens to his subscribers, that interacts with his subscribers, that brings them on videos, that answers questions, that actually cares, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really cool that you do that. Um, and I think I speak for all your viewers whenever we say we appreciate it. Uh, yeah, man, thanks for everything. Uh, yeah, peace. I am super excited to show you this submission. This is all the way from India, Mr. Bhavik Patel. He is inside his 5.1.2 Polk Audio Signature Series bedroom setup. So here's what he has inside. So again, a 5.1.2 Atmos setup. His AVR here is the Denon X4700H. His center channel is the Polk ES30. He also is using Polk ES20s for his left and right, and then he's also using Polk ES10s for his left and right side surrounds. Now he's using Elax currently as his left and right just for some experimentation. 
His Atmos speakers are the Polk ES10s and he probably plans on doing a 5.1.4, adding two more Atmos speakers to the front. His subwoofer is an SVS SB3000. And like I said, this is in a bedroom home theater. So his room size is 11 feet in length by 10 feet in width. And it looks to be about eight or nine feet in ceiling height. Really cool system. Love what you've done with the room. Really good gear. And I greatly appreciate you sending it in. All right, guys, that's going to do it for season nine, episode number two of Subscriber Showcase. Make sure you go down below and click my playlist called Subscriber Showcase, where you can see the first episode of this season, plus all the first eight seasons if you haven't seen them. Really cool home theaters from I'm literally across the world, Netherlands, India, Australia, US, Europe. We've been everywhere. So go back and watch any season you've missed. And if you want to put your home theater on the channel, it's not too late. Send me an email, Dropbox, WeShare, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can find me, send me some videos of your submission and we'll throw you on an episode. Thank you to those guys again for sending them out to me and hope to see you guys in the next episode every Wednesday about 1, 1.30. See you guys soon. Kick base guy out. Peace.